It's a decent French team. Lovely to see Muriel Hurtis on the third leg still running. I raced against her some 12, 13 years ago. And now France are making their fourth final in World Championship history in lane one. In lane number two, Ukraine. Pristupa, Lyakova, Logvinenko and Paguida. Paguida on the final leg. 51-02, a personal best in the semi-final. She'll bring them home. In lane number three, Nigeria. Amotasol, Okon George, Obagunloko and Regina George. A semi-finalist in the individual 400 will bring them home, the Nigerians. They were seventh in Daegu, and it was Amotaso who led them off then. A big warm welcome for Russia in lane number four. Gushina, Ferova, Rizova, and Kriva Shapka, the individual bronze medalist on the final leg. Rizova on the third leg was seventh in that 400-meter final. They start in lane number four. In lane number five, United States of America, the defending champions, six times have won this title. Jessica Beard, Natasha Hastings, Ashley Spencer and Francina McCory, six in the 400 individual final on the last leg. Lane number six, Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Ailey Child, Shayna Cox, Margaret Adeo and Christina Horogu. Child, fourth in the 400 meter hurdle final, a Horogu, the individual champion. In lane number seven, Italy, Bazzoni, Milani, Spacher and Greno. They've made two World Championship finals previously of the Italians. They've been last on both occasions. And completing the lineup in lane eight, Romania with Pasta, Lavric, Belgian and Reza, the individual semi-finalist on leg number four for them. Only once before have the Romanians made the World Championship final in this event. One little note about the American team. Three of them won gold medals in this event in Daegu two years ago. And it's a strong team. Natasha Hastings, fifth in the 400 metres. Ashley Spencer, a semi-finalist in the 400 metres. And McCory, sixth in the individual event. That's Ailey Child from Great Britain. The solid, reliable lead-off leg. 54-86 in her 400 metre final to finish fifth. This could be a battle between the Russians, United States and the world indoor champions of Great Britain. Names four, five and six. Jessica Beard will lead off the Americans, the fastest in qualifying. In three minutes, 23.51 seconds. That's out the window now. This is the world championship final. Great Britain have no Perry Shakes Drayton to bring in. She's flown home injured after her individual 400 metre hurdle final. The British team remains unchanged from the heat in lane number six. The final of the women's 4x400 metre relay. It's a clean start in the women's 4x400 four metre final. Expect the Russians to fly, the Americans to go quick, and the British athlete Ailey Child to put in a fighting spirited performance. Well, it's the Russians in lane number four with Yulea Gashina, who's going off very hard indeed. Jessica Beard from the United States is going well. Romania on the outside, desperately trying to stay in touch. And the Romanian pastor's not having a big bad leg. When the stagger unwinds, though, Jessica Beard from America. Ailey Child from Great Britain trying to come back. Gashina of Russia. It's going to be very close between Russia and America in terms of the stagger. Let's see who hands over first. It's slightly Russia that are ahead. Gashina hands on to Fedorova. The United States of America, though, their second leg run, Natasha Hastings, off like a rocket. Fifth in the individual 400 metres. This leg's going to be devastating by the American. The Russians are currently in the second position with their athlete Tatiana Ferdiova. Here come Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Shayna Cox sitting in behind the Russian, but it's the American, Natasha Hastings, swept into the lead has a 10 or 12 meter lead. Here comes the Russian though, Tatiana Fedorova. She's trying to pull back the American, but America will lead. Russia in second, Shayna Cox trying to hand on to the bronze at the moment, but it's some wonderful fast finishing. 
shots and brilliant finishing from the French athlete Guillaume Fermin. Oh, and the lead has changed at the changeover. Look at the battle between Russia and America. The crowd go wild. It is over. Seventh in the individual 400 metres. She sits ahead of the American Ashley Spencer. Spencer, a semi finalist. It is over. A world finalist. And a wonderful battle for bronze at the moment between France's Muriel Hurtis and Great Britain's Margaret Adeo. Adeo, a 200 metre specialist. She's hanging on to the French woman, but the battle for the gold is immense. Russia come into the straight with the lead. Ksenia Rizova, but it's going to be close with the American. Ashley Spencer, Spencer Rizova, the final changeover is crucial. And a little bit of a lead is gained by the Russians. Privyshap cut for Russia, bronze in the individual 400 metres, takes up the lead from the American Francina McCory. McCory is losing ground to Privyshapka. Christina Horagu, the individual champion for Great Britain in bronze. Expect her to finish quick. She's going to battle for that bronze medal. But with 200 metres to go, the Russians are absolutely exploding the Olympic Stadium. Antonia Krivoshapka, the bronze medalist in the 400 metres, she's going to be tracked down by Francina McCory. Krivoshapka, McCory, Russia, the United States. Who's going to take gold in the 4x4 final? Krivoshapka. Antonia Krivoshapka, the individual bronze medalist, brings home Russia for a wonderful gold in the women's 4x400 metres. 3 minutes 20.21 seconds. Absolutely outstanding. She held off the battle from Francina McCory. America take the silver. And Christina Horogu, the individual champion in the 400 metres, picks up a deserved bronze medal for the Great Britain and Northern Ireland team. What a fantastic race. Absolutely magnificent. And the crowd roared there. Well, crucially, Krivoshapka got a three-metre lead on the last exchange. And McCory narrowed it in the end to two. Krivoshapka always goes out hard. And you wonder if she would die a little bit. But she didn't. Yeah, I think that, that last change was absolutely crucial, wasn't it? A bit of a mix-up with the Americans. They had to cross lanes. Battens were not handed properly. And you can see... It really did make a big difference in the end. But the finish, absolutely fantastic. The, the crowd were, were lifting their athletes all the way around that last lap. She really couldn't really lose, could she? Because she was pushed on by the atmosphere here today. I took my headphones off and listened with my own ears on that last lap. And it was absolutely deafening in the last 20 or 30 metres. What a moment there.